Hey guys, Vape World community, family, everybody. Chris with Token Vaping, uh, doing another juice review video, and this one is from the guys at Blindfold. Um, they are based in LA, uh, homegrown, built there. They do make uh, the, their own line of juices as well. Um, there is five in the line, and I will basically give you a rundown on all five and what I like, don't like, things like that. Um, blindfoldjuices.com uh, they do offer all of these um, they do offer them in a 15 milliliter and a 120 milliliter so for you guys that do vape a lot they do offer you the bigger bottles um, the 15 mils run about $12 um, the 120 mils run about 65 so they are reasonably priced um, I have seen the bigger bottles go for higher so um, they, they do try to keep them within uh, monetary value that is available to everybody. Um, this line, uh, these guys were gracious enough to send me their line um, to try out. Uh, there is five, as I said. Um, there's a strawberry cheesecake, which I liked, big surprise. Um, Nutty Buddy, a melon rehab, chai tea, and the cream pie special. Um, I'm impressed with them because, again, you know, a home, a home a homemade juice, um, you're kind of really not sure right off the bat what to expect. Um, everybody makes them differently. Everybody has different procedures. As long as they all follow a standard guideline, everybody has different ways of how they make them, the ingredients they use, um, as long as they're all real and natural. Um, but, you know, everybody's going to have a different way to do something. You know, you can have a bunch of mechanics all make the same car, but everybody's going to have their own flair on it. You know, same thing with juices. Everybody is going to make a home juice um, that's going to be a specific flavor, types, things like that. Um, but how they get there, everybody has a little different. So it's nice to see, you know, um, just the differences. This is one of the reasons why I started doing this. You know, there are so many different types of companies out there that are all making various types of juices. You could have you know, a dozen versions of one flavor and everybody's going to make a little difference. So it's it's interesting and it's a, an enjoyable journey to see, you know, who makes what and how it differs from this company and that company. Um, with that said, you know, um, I was pleasantly uh, uh, enjoyed with this line. Um, I don't have a whole lot of, you know, downside um, to this brand. Uh, like I said, I was impressed with everything. The the number one thing about this is the names of the flavors of what you expect them to taste like, they taste like. Um, I'm always impressed when somebody says, you know, for example, since I'm a cheesecake person, you know, when somebody says, this is a strawberry cheesecake, you know, it doesn't matter how many of them I try. As soon as I vape on one, you know, and it tastes like an actual strawberry cheesecake. That impresses me. It never ceases to amaze me how how dead on people can get the flavor. Um, you know, their strawberry cheesecake tastes like a strawberry cheesecake. I think the only thing that I might say about it is that it just didn't have as strong of a strawberry taste to it that I prefer. Um, it definitely had the cheesecake taste. It definitely had that creaminess to it. You get a slight hint of the graham cracker crust. Um, but like I said, the, you know, the strawberry was a little more subtle than than I prefer, but it definitely does taste like it's supposed to, which, you know, is a good thing. Um, their Nutty Buddy is uh, supposed to be a, this is the weird part. Um, on the site, it says it's a creamy peanut butter uh, taste, and it has a heavy chocolate um, ending with it. Honestly, if you've ever had like a crunchy peanut style candy bar um, of anything, to me that's what that tasted like. As soon as I vaped it, I immediately tasted peanuts. You know, I mean obviously it's the peanut butter, but it's like I would sit there and it literally tasted like I just ate a mouthful of peanuts and then had the little bit of the chocolate, you know, the ending to it, which is really cool. Um, again, you know, you vape on something and you instantly, you have that, that that taste in your head and it's like that's what I taste you know um, so to be to be pretty much exact with that you know to me is impressive uh, the the melon rehab 
I'm kind of, I was kind of in between with because as everybody knows, I'm not a huge menthol person. I don't like the whole minty uh, type flavors, things like that. Nothing in this said that there was going to be, um, and I don't know if it's just me. Maybe it was just the way that I, I went into it, um, but it's basically a honeydew and melon, a various melon style flavor mixed in with a hint of lemon lime, um, and you definitely taste it. I, that part of it I really liked. I liked the, the crisp melon, the honeydew, um, you know, the, the tang, the citrus to it. Um, however, you know, when I first vaped on it, the first thing I got out of it was, you know, there was that, that menthol intake, you know, that, uh, that, uh, that minty, that's what I got off of that. So that part of it I wasn't a fan of, but nicely it didn't last throughout the entire vape. It was just on the initial uh, inhale. So, I mean, if I could work over that, the rest of it tasted great. Um, but like I said, I just, the menthol part of it is just, is hard for me. Now, the only one in this line that I was not a fan of, but again, this is just me, is the chai tea. Now, it's not that I thought it tasted bad, because it tasted exactly like a chai tea is supposed to taste like. I just don't like tea. Um, I just don't like tea. I don't know. I, there's no specific reason. Um, it's just not something that um, I was ever a fan of. Um, but it definitely, you know, they say that it's the the chai tea, honey, and lemon. Um, it's definitely a, a definitely a cup of tea. You know, if you've ever had one, you know, slightly above room temperature, and you and you sip on it. That's definitely what you taste. So again, definitely is what it's supposed to be. Definitely tastes well in that field. Um, I'm just not a chai tea fan. I know somebody who is though, and I know they'll enjoy that. And they actually work in a shop, so blind flow juices, I definitely got you covered on that one. Um, now the cream pie special, I'm not fully sure what exactly. It's, it's a condensed milk dessert. Um, I don't do a whole lot of baking, so condensed milk I'm not a, I, I'm not an expert with, um, but all I know is it does have the milky creaminess to it um, with a slight hint of whipped cream on the exhale. Absolutely love it, truthfully. That's this bottle right here, and as you can tell, it's almost gone. I've been pretty much vaping on this one the entire time. This one and the cheesecake. I know, shocker. Um, however, I just I, I become a big fan of the dessert ones. You know, I, I like the the milk, the creamy milk uh, flavor. I like the cream. I like the dessert, the cheesecake. You know, things like that. Um, I've just become a big fan of. But you know what? Part of this is this. So why don't we vape on this now? I'm forewarning you. Um, I am using my Segeli. I've been having some issues with this, um, but the amazing people over at Asmodus, Asmodus. Um, are going to work with me and help me figure out what's going on with this. So uh, bear with me here a moment. Um, oh, I forgot. Just so you see, you know, I try to do this for authentication so that everybody knows that I'm actually vaping on the liquid that I'm doing a review on. What's wrong? With so I do like to do that. And that's something I actually picked up from uh, watching Tia Vapes and Ruby Roo because they actually show you what they're vaping. So shout out to you two. Thank you for inspiring me to do this. So. This is the cream pie special from Blindfold Liquids. Definitely get the clouds. That's always a good thing. Love that. Definitely, definitely, definitely get that creamy, that creamy milkiness. Some hits, the whipped cream taste of it, the aftertaste is stronger than others, but you definitely get it regardless. Yeah, definitely tastes good. Um, the other one I, um, I'm going to do real quick, um, I'm sorry, the bottle is pretty much empty, but this is the strawberry cheesecake. This is my Kanger Sub Tank Plus Tank. Tia Vapes just did one on this, um, the review. Love this tank. I use this in the car. 
because obviously drifting and driving is not the safest. So if there's anybody out there that's doing it, you know what? Be more careful. Don't keep doing it. It's dangerous. Um, but this is on my iStick 50. Um, but this is what I use basically in the car when I'm driving because it's a lot safer. But this has a strawberry cheesecake. I just wanted to show you basically the cloud outburst from this in a, in a tank as opposed to, you know, the Segelis of it. You know, definitely nice. It's not as heavy, don't get me wrong, but it's still a nice output. Flavor is definitely there regardless. Strawberry cheesecake all day, every day, does not matter. Cream pie special, all day, every day. It's great. Definitely no harsh aftertaste, no harsh kick. Um, I only vape a, a Nick level of a three. Um, I'm still working on that. I'm trying to get over it to where I don't use any at all and just vape. Um, but again, you know, great line. Um, you know, blindfoldliquids.com. Check it out. You know, even if you're not sure, this is why I do these. You know what? It's definitely worth it. Even if you've never tried anything from them before, even if your shop doesn't have them, which if they don't, they definitely should pick up. This is this is a line that is a definite good all-day vape one. Um, they're not super harsh. They're not overpowering. They're not something to where if you vape on it for a few hours that you're going to basically kind of get flavor overload with it because it's so strong. Um, like I said, I vaped on these a couple of days. Um, before I did this, which I try to do, um, which is why I take a little bit longer on some of my reviews, is that I do try to get um, a good basis of using the flavors that the various companies are so gracious to to have me review. Um, I don't believe in just taking a couple of vapes off of one flavor and then trying the next one and then moving on because, I mean, most people don't vape one or two times off of something and then call it good. Um, so I try to be as realistic with it as I can. So I, I apologize. I'm not as fast with some of these as other people are. Um, I'm still learning the ropes on this uh, as uh, basically as we speak. Um, but these these flavors, um, any one of them would make a good a good all day vape. Um, you definitely, if you're going to do this, the 120 ml bottle. If you vape, more, uh, vape on a regular basis, is not a bad investment. Trust me, um, it will definitely work better for you than trying to buy a single small bottle and then expecting it to last you forever. If you do vape on a, a lot, um, but I did thoroughly enjoy these flavors. These these were um, really good. Um, I like the name. You know, it, they call it blindfold because honestly, if you actually closed your eyes and didn't look at what you were doing. Are vaping on these things, you could probably figure out what it is. That's a good sign, which means that they're hitting the flavors that they should be. Labels, the logo is simple, but it's it's clean looking and it's very nice. It's got their name and it's got their, the B. It even says Los Angeles on it, so basically you know where they're from. Um, glass bottles, child safety group cap, you know, everybody's worried about safety. Warning is on the label. Uh, by, uh, by date, um, as far as to when it was basically made, um, is there as well. So, you know, I mean, it's nice to see all these companies and manufacturers basically taking the extra steps. You know, again, there still is big controversies going on with vaping and um, government basically trying to step in and do everything else with that. So, you know, guys, if you are, if you haven't yet or aren't able to, you know, definitely, you know, we all have a voice. Join in. Stand up, let them know that this is completely different, and we we you know we have our rights to this. Um, with that said, sorry, don't mean to rant about that. Uh, blindfold juices, blindfoldjuices.com. Give them a like, follow them on Instagram, try their juices. If your shops haven't picked them up yet, definitely suggest it to them. I have a few shops that I work with that I'm definitely going to have them try this. Um, it's definitely worth the investment. It's definitely worth a vape. It's definitely an enjoyable vape. Um, you will you will not be disappointed with any of these flavors at all. Uh, Chris with Token Vaping again, Instagram, Facebook, Token Vaping. 
here on YouTube, subscribe, watch, view, click, follow, like, um, any of that help me build this up. Uh, again, if there's any comments, concerns, anything that you guys want to let me know, please, by all means, um, inform me. I can only get better from it. Um, if there's any specific types of juices or lines that you guys want to see done, I will definitely do my best to try to get what I can done, um, and we'll go from there. So, guys, until then, vape on, vape strong. Have a good night.